uh, I make two or three turns and I give it a little pop. Uh, two or three turns and I give it a little pop. If you're swimming it, it's just a very, very slow retrieve. I don't twitch it, I don't do anything. I just, because it acts almost like a metal lip. Not as, swims as hard as a metal lip, but you will get this steady wobbling out of the plug. People like Ralph Vada, who makes West End Diamond Jigs, he loves the green eye one, which is the floater, the flat calm water, because it won't sink, it'll just lay there, and you just twitch that plug a lot, a lot and it's like a, a bait that is wounded, just laying on the top, and it's going along with the current, and you give it that little twitch, and it'll come up, and they'll suck the plug in. In this episode of Surf Fishing 101, we're gonna look on how to improve your cast. We're gonna look at some of the casting techniques, hand positioning, and also some of the important things that you should know about how to spool your reel properly. So my first thing is when I was guiding for a year, um, I had a lot of customers who were new in the sport that wanna learn how to fish. And one of the things that I noticed is that their casting technique was really, really off. Obviously, they didn't have no one to teach them, you know, that they learn on their own. Uh, one of the things that I noticed, and this was the biggest thing, is that a lot of guys are holding their arms in too tight, like this, instead of extending their arms or the cast. They hold their arms too tight, and they swing this, and they're only getting a short cast because there's just not enough motion here. You only got short motion. If you extend this, you have a long motion. If you're holding it here, this is your range, right here. So that's one of the things that it's a big problem. So by, by just extending your hands backwards, you're gonna get a lot longer cast, okay? The other thing is, a lot of guys are pushing with this hand. That's not the correct way. This hand doesn't push. This is your torque hand. This hand pulls down on a rod and gives you a cast. So when you set and ready to cast, you pull this hand down and that's what gives you all the power, is you pull this hand down and that will give you a long cast. I'll just run through basically what I carry. I like to carry uh, colors. Uh, colors don't exist as far as I'm concerned. At nighttime, I carry shades. I'll go from a uh, Smoky Joe, silver and black, then I'll step it up a little bit darker or lighter. I'll go to a green and white, and then I run through the color spectrum. Um, there's a lighter green and white, then I'll go up to this is a copper and white. But I like to match up my color plugs or shader plugs to the ambient light at nighttime. Darker nights, no moon, cloud cover, real dark plug, a um, little bit of moonlight or ambient light from around the, the town or whatever. I'll switch up to a lighter plug and try and match up what the sky looks like to my plug choice. Daughters, I think, are number one out at Montauk. If you don't have a daughter and you're not fishing it, you really should just go home. Um, that's my number one choice because there's some variations on it, which is why I switch up to the North Bar or Sporting Wood, depending on the depth, bottle daughter. Lou Caruso for Surfcasters Journal. Today, I thought I might take a moment to go over some blanks and the actions on the blanks, where you might want to use them, how you might want to use them, and the nuances that are going to help you either cast further, be a more durable rod, give you uh, more sensitivity, um, just overall help you out, whether it be a factory rod, store-bought, El Cheapo, or even a custom rod. All right, there's a couple of different types of actions that we get involved in. Um, one of the ones that's most prevalent here on the East Coast, uh, striper fishermen, like a moderate action rod. And when I talk about different actions, uh, the action on a rod, a faster action rod, is gonna bend in the top third of the blank a moderate action is gonna bend more into the handle. As you can see, the more pressure I put on this rod, the deeper this bend goes into the blank. 